just to see uh, Rochester out here supporting. Um, I was in those same kids' shoes when I was a little kid uh, watching Illinois football. So just seeing seeing the family, seeing everybody come out and support, it was awesome just to you know have that home feeling here. If you had a message to those kids that look up to you, what, what would that be? Just keep working, you know. Just keep working and good things will happen. You can take me, I'm sorry if you've been asked the same, but you take me into that third and 17, like what happened, what you saw, how it kind of developed? Yeah, we know we know Purdue's, off, uh, Purdue's defense pretty well. Um, so we know they play a lot of cover two, a lot of cover one. Uh, so whenever the ball was snapped and we saw a cover one, man, you know, I just had to create a little separation and Luke did a great job of scrambling out of the pocket and putting the ball in the right spot. What did that mean for you to, to make a big impact uh, on a win like that? Yeah, you know, it felt great. Um, it's been a few years, so just to be able to get out there and, and make plays is a really great feeling. Can you, can you take me into the journey of that? Because I'm, I'm sure you probably wanted a bigger role coming into the year, but what would it take to kind of get to that moment? Yeah, you know, obviously the first few years behind Isaiah, um, just practicing hard every day and learning from a great guy like him. Um, and then coming in the, to this year, just uh, trying to put my head down and, and be consistent and, and work hard every single day to put myself in the best position I can. Um, and then, you know, getting the opportunity, the coaches trust, the quarterbacks trust, and, you know, everybody doing their job just to be able to go and make a play. I know it was late in the game, but did that Penn State, the end of that game, did that do anything for you leading into the, to the Purdue game? Uh, it did feel good um, getting a few catches in that game. Um, but, you know, it's really just it's really just Luke making plays. I think I, it might have been both of those throws in the Penn State game. He scrambled out and, and found me. Um, so that just seems to work out pretty well. Were those scramble drills for you? Do you just like what do you do when that happens when he goes out and scrambles? I just try and find him, <laughs> try and stay alive. Yeah. So what? I, I know you were asked about it, but the Rochester kids all being mm -hmm. there. What, what went into that? What was that moment like for you? Did you swarmed by all those kids? Man, it was awesome. It was a great feeling, to be honest. Um, you know, just seeing all. The, I saw a bunch of kids running out on the field. I was like, what the heck is happening? <laughs> um, and then they were all yelling at me. I was like. It was just cool to, you know, see the Youth Football League come out and support, um, just to be able to see and meet each one of those kids. Um, it was just great to have a little bit of home here. Yeah, what's it like for you to be a role model for those kids back home? Man, it's it's cool. <laughs> Sometimes I forget, but uh, I remember when I was a kid, I was looking up to guys like, you know, Wes Lunt played here, Zach Grant played here. Um, so I guess it's kind of the same thing, but, you know, just seeing, just seeing how happy those kids were just to be here. It, it went a great deal in my heart. When Wes and Zach are playing here, like, what, would, what did that mean to you? Like, when you saw Rochester kids playing, what, what did you think of that? It was awesome. Like, I didn't really play football at a young age, right. so I didn't really get it at first. But like, seeing those guys on such a big stage, I was like, wow, that's that's incredible, you know. And I, as a kid, I never really thought that I would be in this position myself. So. You know, just, just being here and being able to make the most of my opportunities, is, it feels good. So, so what's it mean? Like, when you go home, what, what's that like? Do you, do you kind of get that love from everybody? Or? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> um, it's good. You know, everybody's asking, how's football going? Yeah. How's the team going to be this year? Uh, so just being able to, you know, chat guys up um, and, you know, support, support Rochester, their football program. Because Coach Leonard's done so much for me, and you know, it's just good to see those guys get out there. Can you take me into punt return, getting that job back? Um, mm -hmm. What's that journey been like, and competing for it, and then getting it back during the season? Uh, it was a little up and down, you know. Just I just tried to go out there and be consistent every day, um, you know, catching every single punt that I could. Um, and it's definitely it's definitely tough some days, uh, but just trying to go out there and you know feel comfortable and confident is a big thing for me. Is that the toughest job in football? Like, is is that the hardest I, thing to do? I would say it is the toughest job. Some people would probably argue against it, but man, I think catching a punt with eleven dudes screaming down yeah. at you is pretty tough. What did you learn about doing it a little bit last year? Like, how did the, how has that helped you? Uh, I, well, I would say my first year I hadn't really done it before, so you know, just trying to get a feel for it. Uh, last year, you know, just being more consistent because um, I would always have a few drops here and there in practice, and I've tried to eliminate those this year. Um, and then, you know, this third year, just being confident, you know, trusting my ability, um, trusting the Flyers, you know, throw their blocks, trusting everybody on the SWAT team to do their job so I can just, you know, play free. Uh, Coach Disher called you aggressive uh, with punt yeah. return. What, what goes into that? Because, I mean, you took it at the two the other day and it worked yeah. out well, but, like, what, what goes into your mindset or kind of your thought process when you catch one? 
Well, Coach Dish always says uh, change the game, you know, for special teams. So I'm just thinking, you know, back there is really the only play that I know that I'm getting the ball. Because um, on offense, you know, you can block in, you, you can be a read. But on punt return, I feel like you're the guy, you're getting the ball. So just being able to, you know, catch the ball and make a play, change the game, flip the field position, anything you can do. What's it, what's it mean for you? You came here to, to make a big impact on the home state school, right? What's it mean that you're you're making an impact on this team? It definitely feels good to finally be able to, you know, help the team out um, and make an impact. Um, I feel like I've been working for it for a long time, and, you know, hopefully we can just keep winning.